okay let's go for the next value of h so as we have to increase uh, the I mean we have to reduce the value of h by uh, a factor a factor of 10 so how we can do that it's very simple this h divided by 10 and yeah that's all so then I just control C the all other values they would be the same so control C and then I should put it here control V okay so I think there is some mistake so let me see what is the mistake here uh, yeah here here it should be a bracket if you don't put this bracket because it is multiplying by 0 0.1 so yeah now it's fine so we can see that by reducing the interval now we, our error has reduced by around from 38.356 to 0 0.38356 and the same thing if we continue to keep on doing control c control c and then sorry control c control v so we can see that the values of uh, true error are reducing and uh, reducing till here and after that the values started increasing for example if we want to see these values in the form of number we have to increase the cells okay like this and here is the uh, interval so we are concerned about the true error and the interval so this is the solution of the same problem and if you want me to do some formatting I can do it for you here you can just make all these cells with borders outside thick border and all border and then outside thick border okay here you can also put thick borders increase this one and then you can control B make it center okay and if you want to just for example if you want to make this I plus one as right click format cells and then click to the subscript okay so it will be changed the subscript the same thing you can do for the rest of the values here here okay subscript okay now uh, in the book he actually want to see the plot of this plot uh, of the results as well so let's plot the results for example the error and the step size so here we have the step size and here we have the error and this is not the normal scale this is actually the log scale graph if you see it is 10 to the power 0 minus 2 it's actually starting uh, this value is actually 1 uh, and this value is also 1 so this graph is actually on the log scale for example if the step size this is h is equal to 1 so the error is somewhere is equal to 0 0.35 this value is 0 0.35 this is actually a log scale the values are plotted reverse so how we can obtain the same graph in microsoft excel just go to the insert here and then add maybe you can use this graph okay and then right click select data add series name you can if you want to give any name it's fine but if you don't want to give any name just go to the x values what should be the x values the x values should be the interval so how much you want so let me see in the book for example they have gone up to transpower minus 10 so up to this point here and then we go for the y-axis so the y-axis we want to plot the true error so first let me actually move this graph on the 
left side or somewhere where we can see the values or let me minimize this one so I just put it here right click select data add series name you can say chart on log scale or you can say step size versus interval versus true error and x values you can say here the step size up to times by minus 10 here and then the y values it should be the true error the same up to times by minus 10 here and then okay and okay so this is the plot but this is the normal plot now we want to convert it into the log scale so how we can do that for example first right click here Texas. and here log with mix scale okay and also let me click here and log with mix scale yes so this is how we can obtain the same curve on the logarithmic scale and if you are not happy with this numbering and you want to convert into the other one so you can go to the number here and instead of number you can see here the scientific and the decimal places you can say here just one for example yeah so and the same thing if you want to change it here you can do it also here and if you want to bring the you can design this chart for example you can add axis titles if you want the primary horizontal the primary vertical for example here you can say the vertical axis is actually the time uh, actually the interval or the step size and on the horizontal axis here you can say the step size on the vertical axis and on the horizontal axis you have primary horizontal you have the true oh sorry we have the true error in the the vertical and we have the step size in the horizontal yeah here we have the step size I'm sorry and we have the true error here true error further optimize this for example if you want to change the font you can change it black and also here bold 10 times new roman okay you can also adjust for example if you don't want to see these grids you can remove these grids or if you want to make a layout area for example if you go to here border you can make a border solid line maybe this type of line here so it is the border and if you want to reduce this area or you want for example you want uh, adjust these grid the format grid lines say no line here and if you say format grid lines if you want to see no grid lines here okay so now you can compare this chart with this chart so the values are plotted in the reverse order but it is the same behavior if you compare so I'm just removing the axis and because I want to compare these two charts okay and then let me expand it here and I put it to error here and step size 
okay so let's compare these two charts so we have the one here and the other here so it is almost the same behavior so this is what actually the uh, requirement was in this question so this is how you can solve this question and yeah, if you have any question you can leave a comment you can give me a call on my office number you can give me uh, an email so this is all and if you want to uh, you want any comment on your file you can also share your file and I'll try my best to answer you and give uh, give my suggestion and uh, my opinion on your files okay thank you have a good day bye bye